A guy with the Instagram handle Manton or Manton89 uh, posted a video of him asking Obama in Denver if he wants to get high. Now, uh, it's not just that he asks him. Apparently, Obama heard the guy, and here's how he reacted. You want a headband? <laughs> So for everybody listening on uh, the radio for the live show and you didn't see what was happening there, he kind of laughed it off. He smiled and laughed it off, but at the same time, he kind of had that twinkle in his eye uh, like he's looking at the guy saying, Bitch, I'm the president. Seriously? Seriously, I'm the president of the United States. I can press the red button. You really want me getting high? But overall, he was smooth enough with the situation. But the reason why I wanted to bring this up and talk about it, just the fact that Obama can react like that, where he smiles and he laughs, to me, that's further evidence why marijuana should be legal for the entire country. And here's my point. Imagine it was somebody committing any other crime and they asked the president if he wanted to get in on it, right? Imagine a guy's robbing a, a, a woman's purse, right? And he looks at President Obama. <laughs> hey, Bam Bam, you want to get in on this big guy? Look, I'm robbing a purse. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> the president would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Cops, police, Secret Service, tackle this asshole. What's he doing robbing somebody? Imagine they're assaulting somebody, punching somebody in the face. They're beating up like a poor little geeky or nerdy kid. Punching him. Hey, President Obama, you want to get in on this? He'd be like, oh my god, what's happening? He'd be scrambling, the Secret Service would probably jump on Obama and cover him because they think that somebody's uh, mentally unstable or they're going to attack him or whatever. Any other, you know, crime that somebody is engaged in, like imagine the Wall Street crime, somebody sitting there on a computer, they're like, uh, Miss President, this is going to be a long thing they say to him, Miss President, I just committed fraud. I just sold one group of people something saying it's good and then I bet it against that, I bet against that thing for it to fail. You want to get in on this? Make some money? Somebody's insider trading? Uh, buy stocks of Clorox. It's going to go up. They're doing a merger next week. Do it. Mr. President, you want to get in this, uh, this insider trading? Buy some Clorox? In all the other circumstances, Obama would have to react like, what's wrong with this person? Arrest them or do something or get, me get away. But when somebody says, you want to take a hit of this? And they have marijuana on him. He's in Denver. He's in Colorado, okay? It's legal in that state, right? Still legal on a federal level, but it's legal in that state. And he laughs. He smiles and he laughs. What does that show you? It shows you it's not a criminal action. Some people might not agree with it. Of course, you might not agree with it. People all have their drugs of choice. Some people are just flat-out anti-drug in every situation, right? But just the same way that if somebody said to President Obama, Hey, Mr. President, you want a beer? I'll grab you one. I'm at the bar here. Would you like one? What, what are you drinking? People go, oh, that's a nice guy with a gesture, right? Look, it's the same thing for any substance. Yes, some substances are much more dangerous than others. Some of them propose uh, probably a genuine uh, public safety risk, for sure. But the genu genuine principle that people have, by and large, in the country is a libertarian principle on these issues, where they say, look, man, I might not agree with you. I might try to get you help or counseling or whatever. But bottom line is, when it comes down to it, you get to make decisions for what you want to put in your own body. It's none of my business. Whatever happened to the idea that your body is your temple? That appears to be, you know, a constitutional principle. This idea that, you know, freedom. You're, if it doesn't hurt anybody else, then, yeah, you get to make the decision, even if it's bad for you. Somebody could wake up in the morning and drink three quarts of gin, and it's like, okay, well, that, he chose to do that. Okay, he might be blowing his life, but it is what it is. Somebody could eat, and for every meal, they could have McDonald's and Taco Bell, clog their arteries, die by the time they're 46. People go, oh, well, I was fucking stupid of him, but what were we supposed to do? What was the police supposed to knock down the door and say, oh, grab his chalupa and his cheesy gordita crunch. He can't have that. No, because we know that's what freedom is. That's what, that's what we're supposed to stand for. And this is another example. The president smiles and laughs. Why? Because we know there's nothing wrong with it. But the problem is we're fucking locking people up for smoking marijuana. We're locking people up for snorting cocaine or doing LSD or whatever drug, you know, fill in the blank with uh, whatever right there. And it's fucked up, man.